just sitting here on this beautiful Wednesday morning, having my breakfast to this beautiful view, and uh, listening to the cars go by uh, on their way to work. And soon that'll be me. Um, I work 11 to 7 today. Um, it's my only late start shift of the week. And um, yeah, so that's what allowed me to come out here and do this. I worked 8 to 4 yesterday, so then I work 11 to 7 today. So soon that'll be me out on the highway, and I don't want to. I don't know if you can hear it right now or not, but because it is absolutely quiet and there's no breeze, you can really hear the highway from here. Um, highway 118. And yeah, so I have about a 30 minute drive to work. I have like a five minute paddle. And then a 30 minute try. But let's not forget the portage in there. I don't like that you have to go up over the highway. Um, it just really freaks me out with having my dog. Um, worried that you know, he might jump out so I was leashed in like a death grip. And I know that he doesn't even care about cars, but on the off chance that he did. So yeah, I don't like that the portage crosses over a highway, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so the the parking lot is the big east access point. Um, and then you ha just have to cross over the highway and you'll see a sign um, for Poker Lakes. And there's like a little drop box and stuff. So. Yeah, it's been awesome so far. I don't want to leave. <sighs> I had cell service here the whole time. Um, so I told my mom that she will be coming out here with me at some point. Because she doesn't canoe trip or anything. But we're going to get her started into that. Snoopy is off exploring. He has an itchy face from the bugs. What can you do? He's on the Advantix and Advantage Multi, which help to repel mosquitoes, but there's only so much that can do. Um, <clears throat> so, unfortunately, he still does um, get bit quite a bit um, because of his long hair. He only gets bit on the face, so that sucks as well, but at least he's not itchy everywhere else. And as you can see, he collects a lot of leaves in his tail, because um, of his long fur. So yeah, time to sit, enjoy my tea and my bacon, and uh, <clears throat> that's a big truck that went by. Enjoy my tea and my bacon, and just sit here, and then I just have to finish packing everything into my bag. I'll probably just sit here a little more, because uh, it's only 7.42, and uh, I packed up everything. Um, it just has to go in my bag, and I've finished cooking my breakfast, waiting for my stove and <coughs> pot to cool, and eating my bacon, and having my tea. Everything is all packed up, and it's only 8 o'clock, <laughs> so I'm just going to hang out here for a bit. Oh, he's an itchy face. But sometimes he just does that at home, just to do it, but I think that's because he's itchy. What are you doing? Are you itchy? Are you? Come here. <laughs> 
What are you doing? He loves camping. It just sucks that the bugs get to him. He's like a, a doggy bug jacket. <laughs> so maybe this is what I'll do for a bit. Just run him out around the campsite so that he's nice and tired for staying with me at work all day. So my chair set up. <laughs> Go for a run! Go! Go for a run! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. So, I think I'm gonna play some games with him, and then just have a nice seat. Um, probably leave here at 9. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Um, I had this boat made with the idea that um, I told him that I wanted my pack and my dog in it and that my dog would almost always be coming with me in this boat. Um, so we made it so that the pack fits behind me and the dog fits in front of me and I just have a yoga mat there um, just because it's a skin on frame and you know long paddles I don't know how comfortable it will be if he's laying on um, planks of wood so I just put a yoga mat there and then he can also sleep on that when we go in the tent from now on and it looks like he wants to go in the boat now he loves canoeing which is crazy because I only um, trained him to go into the canoe last year so it's awesome that he picked it up he doesn't like to swim um, so I'm surprised that he likes canoeing but yeah so that works out for me because it's 8 30 and we're headed out we're gonna go explore the rest of Bent Shoe Lake um, we're gonna go through the narrows to the other side and see what it's like over there and then head on back to the car. We are now headed back through the narrows to where we were. Benchu. This site over here is site 47. Our site, that's where I put the boat in. And that's where the actual site is.
what you get. Good boy. <laughs> The canoe is up on my car. I'm the only car here. When I left my car yesterday, there was a truck here, um, but it's gone now, so I'm the only person here, um, which makes sense. It's June 12th now. It's the middle of the week, so I decided that we'd take a nice walk to Big East and uh, get some water. So here's the map of everywhere. Awesome. And then here's information. So, it's 250 meters to the lake. Come on, Snoopy. Let's go. I have him off leash because there's nobody else around. And um, surprisingly, it looks like there's a campsite right here on the portage. So that's different. I haven't seen that before. I guess it's down that trail. Interesting. Campsite number 39. Down that trail. Okay. Hmm. So I see the lake from here, so I don't know that it's 250 meters. This seems like a lot less than that. So here is the access to the Big East. The portage took no time at all and it looks like there's a cached um, boat over there. But this is the start of the Big East. What a beautiful day. And the put-in is nice and sandy. This would be a good swimming spot. <laughs> 